What's happening everybody? So I'm out here, it is 9.40 in the morning, it's Wednesday. Yeah, I work third shift, so my, my whole schedule's all screwed up. We're gonna try to track down some bass. We're gonna try to see if we can uh, put some worms in their mouth. We're gonna try to see what we can do. Uh, throw a couple different things, just test out the waters. I'm not bringing my bag, I'm just bringing a couple rods, and we're gonna see what we can catch. Let's go. golden yellow side. Thought it was a pickerel. See he's got a parasite on his lip. It's a, like a leech. It's a nice solid little bass. Healthy looking. Let's get him back out there. Alright guys, we are now at the next spot. It's not much further from where we were. Uh, you know how I go about things. I don't like telling people where I am. If it's a private pond, it's not my property. That's a no-go. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to try to catch some fish. Same deal as last place. If I don't catch any, not wasting any time, hitting the next spot. Spot, 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 spot. There is literally a dead beaver. I can see it underneath the water. Um, there are bass sitting on it. Um, they must be picking at it, so. I wish the sun were out so I could see where you are, bud. Big bass, big bass, very big bass. Big bass, big bass. I'm trying not to move too much, but there's a big bass right here. All right, all right, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Big bass. Yes, that is what we wanted, folks. Right there on the quarter ounce shaky head, right on top of the lip, 11 inch trick worm. That is what we wanted, a big old Mondo. Look at that fat girl. Oh man. I 
I tell you what, this twitching bar is the lazy man's fishing. I always pull an extra strand out of my line when I'm using a jig or a shaky head. Um, you'll tend to see that every time I cast, I do that. I like my jigs, just like most people, to set right down where I landed. I don't want them coming back at me, so I give them a little line to drop. I have fluorocarbon on the spin rod right now. All right, I can see her right over there. She's coming back over. That's not the same fish I saw. I swear to God, the one I saw was the biggest bass I've ever seen in my entire life. That thing, that thing's got to be three, four pounds, but it is not that big. This is a PB right here, boys and girls. This is what we came out here for, right there. That is a fat, fat, obese chicky. We're gonna go get this scale. All right, zero it out. Five twenty. Not quite my PB, but that's a big girl. Holy cow. Literally guys, words cannot explain how pleased I am I came here today. Um, I almost didn't. I almost went to a pond that probably would have been a bust that usually is. Uh, I actually, I got a bird's nest and my leader snapped off with this whopper plopper. So I started walking closer. Next thing you know, there's a ton of gills. Um, I just, you know, I just gave it a shot. I pitched at her with a jig. She didn't want it. I pitched at her with the shaky head. She swam away. Um, I got smarter about it. I pitched out maybe 20 feet, maybe 10 feet past her. Uh, I jigged it in. Let all the gills just sit on it. Get her attention. What are they looking at, you know? Uh, she came over. She flashed her belly. That's a sure sign. She's coming over to it. Sure shine. That's a sure shine. It's a sure sign that she's going she's gonna to pick it up. Um, I just kept jiggling it. I don't know what it is, man, but I love me a good shaky head bite. I can't, I can't express it enough, man. I'm just, I'm so pleased with how that came out. All right, we stopped down here at the uh, bus lot pond. It's just a little tiny poop scoop of a ice skating rink. You can see a couple bass, a couple beds. I gotta go home soon. I gotta go home and fix that lawnmower. So I'm gonna just pitch at these things for a little bit, see what we can do. And, uh, save the other places for different videos.
Let's see what we can do. Seems like he's interested in coming down and show me his belly, nose down on it. I got commitment issues out here. I'm trying to force feed these fish this jig, but I'm almost positive that they're not gonna bite it. I think that they want a shaky head. That's what they want. Oops. Bass is still pushing things off off of bed. Alright. Alright, alright. I know what's going on now. I know what you want. Back on it. All right, so he's chasing off. He's, he's fending off a bed right now. I know that because he keeps swimming out, pushing the gills out. He picked me up. Yep, I'm in that sweet spot. I'm in that sweet zone. There he is, right there. All right, so he's spitting me back up. Coming right back over to this bass. I'm gonna throw a shaky head. Try to get this. This tail to stick up out of the weeds a little bit. Well guys, that spot was a complete bust. Um, I should have had two. Uh, one, I set the hook on twice, worm was too long. Or the hook wasn't exposed enough, I'm not really sure. Um, I lost one in the weeds. I lost one in top water. Today I should have had double the fish I really caught, but I really, I really can't be mad. I caught like a three pounder, and I caught a 5.23 pound bass. Um, that's up there. It's, it's. I thought it was my PB at first. It was a slouch. I love bat girls, bat girls. If you guys like what you saw today, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Feel free to share. Um, I don't do this for any other reason than I'm going to be fishing anyways. And, you know, think about it. I would have caught that bass today. Why wouldn't I have my camera? It was pretty nice. Pretty nice day. So, today was a good day. I caught a couple nice bass. You know, only three total. Lost probably five or six. But, you know, we'll get back at them. I'll see you guys on the next video. See you later.